Hi, and welcome to the homework for Lesson 18, Grade 3. This is Module 2. Write your name here first. Make sure you get credit for your work. And we're solving subtraction problems. Uh, some of these, you can do these. It doesn't say how you have to do them, so you can do them mentally. Uh, most of them really should be done uh, using the standard subtraction algorithm, which we, some of us know as borrowing subtraction and uh, this is 70 minus 46 we can think of this as you know uh, 70 minus 40 would be would leave us with 30 and then we have to think of 30 minus the 6 which would give us 24 liters Now we're looking at this here. Now I know some uh, some third graders don't remember how to do this very well because it's been a while since we practiced it. Uh, and but really, this is your chance to practice the standard subtraction algorithm. If you really have to draw the HTO chart, it's going to be a lot more work. If you draw the HTO chart in the discs. I might, I might do one of these that way just so I can show everybody what this looks like but you don't have the room that you need to do this here it's gonna be really hard and it's gonna be um, 370 just to show everybody what it looks like you have a hundred here you need three hundreds but really you shouldn't be Using this method is it's really a lot more work. Tens. You don't have the room to do it here. One, two, three, four, five tens. We need seven tens. We need two more tens. There. And now we need to subtract 46. So we have to unbundle a 10, which gives us. Two, three, four, five gives us ten ones. One, 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 and then uh, so now we can subtract, and we need to subtract four tens. So that's this guy. One, two, three, four of the tens, and then six of the ones. So that's these five right here, and that one. And you can see what we have left. We have three hundred. 24 liters so you can see how much time that takes and how it is it's a pain to draw it out a lot of third graders that's the way they're going to remember how to do it and they're going to want to do that for all of these but really this is the chance to practice the standard subtraction method All right, so here we have, we don't have enough, one, don't subtract up and write six here. It's not six minus nothing. You have to think there's no ones there. So you have to unbundle a 10 like we did over here. Six tens will be left. We'll have 10 ones for that, just like we drew in our picture before when you unbundle a 10. Now we can subtract. 10 minus six is four. Six minus four is two tens and three hundreds minus one hundred, two hundreds, and these are liters. Six hundred seven minus thirty two. Now here we have plenty of ones. Seven. We can take away two ones from seven. That leaves us with five ones. But we don't have any tens here. So you can't remember this is your menu end. This top number here, that's your menu end. You can't subtract the zero from the three. You can't, we call it subtracting up, right? We always want to start with our menu end. It's zero minus three, and you can't do that because you don't have enough tens. So we're going to break up one of these hundreds, and we're going to get, now we have ten tens for that hundred. Ten minus three is seven, and we have five hundreds left still. We're not subtracting any. Five hundred seventy-five centimeters. Make sure that seven looks like a seven. 592 
minus 258. The most um, common mistake made in this in standard subtraction is subtracting up, is subtracting the minuend from the subtrahend. And so here you see that there's a two minus the two and the eight, and you're thinking, you know, your whole subtraction life up to now is you start with a larger number and take away the smaller number. But that it doesn't work in this case because then you're subtracting different numbers and it changes the answer. So we're not subtracting 598 minus 252. That's what th that would do. But that's enough talking about it. You have to when you don't have enough ones here, you have to unbundle a 10. Now I have eight tens left. But I get 10 ones for that, so it's 12 ones now. 12 minus 8 is 4, 8 minus 5 is 3, and 5 minus 3 is 2. And 5 minus 2 is 3, sorry. So that's 334 centimeters. 918 minus 553. We have plenty of ones this time. We have 8. We can take away 3 ones, and we'll have 5 ones left. Uh, 1 minus 5, we can't, we don't have enough tens to take away 5 tens, so we have to unbundle one of these hundreds. And that gives us 10 more tens, plus the one we already have means we now have 11 tens. So that kind of looks like an 11. 11 minus 5, 6. 8 minus 5, 3. And we have 365 centimeters. 763 minus 82. We have enough ones here. Three, we can take away two and have one left. But six minus the eight. Another, you know, one of the ways you can remind yourself that you don't subtract up is that the, the minus sign, the subtraction symbol, is down here next to the bottom number. These are the numbers you're actually taking away. I'm taking away eight tens. I'm taking away two ones. You can't take away the ones, the numbers that you have. So, 6, I can't do that, so I have to unbundle 100. 6, and now I have 10 more 10s. I already have 6 there, so I'm going to add to that 10 and 6, 16. I'll have 16. 16 minus 8 is 8. And the 600, we still have those, and we're talking about grams. 803, this is going to be one of the hardest things to, this is the hardest thing to do in second grade is three digit subtraction with a zero in the middle zeros are just it just makes everything a little more difficult uh, but again we are not going to subtract up so it's three minus two is one zero minus four we can't do that right so we need to we need to get some tens we don't have any so we do that by breaking up one of these hundreds i'll have seven hundreds left after i do that and I'll have 10 tens from that when I break up that 100. 10 tens minus 4 tens is 6 tens. And 7 minus 5, 7 hundreds minus 5 hundreds is 200. And these are grams. 572 minus 266. All right, and 2 minus 6. We don't have enough ones. We only have two ones. We can't take away six ones when we only have two. So that means we have to unbundle a 10. That leaves us with only six tens left and ten more ones plus the two that we already have is 12 10 and 2 is 12 so i'll just make this look like a 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. 6 minus 6 that's all of 6 so there's nothing left in tens and then our hundreds five hundreds minus two hundreds three hundreds left and these are kilometers or kilometers i don't i'm not sure which and here's our last one on this page, 837 minus 645. We have enough ones. We have seven. We can take away five and have two left. And we look at our tens. We have three tens and we're subtracting four. We don't have enough tens to subtract four tens, so we have to break up one of these hundreds. Then we'll only have seven hundreds left. But that gives us ten more tens. 10 tens plus the three we already have. 10 and three, that's 13 tens. So I'll just make this look like a 13 here. And 13 minus four is nine. Seven hundreds minus six hundreds is 100. So that's 192. 
kilometers. And now we're looking at some word problems. We're going to, uh, let's see, the magazine. Here's a picture of it. Actually, it looks like a newspaper, doesn't it? The magazine weighs 200. Oh, that's why, because this is the, this is the newspaper. The magazine weighs 280 grams less than the newspaper. The weight of the newspaper is shown below. How much does the magazine weigh? The magazine weighs less. If the magazine weighs less, the newspaper weighs more. Right? So here's the newspaper. That's going to be more. And the magazine is going to be less. We know what the newspaper weighs. That's 454 grams. The magazine, we don't know, but that's what we want to find out. We do know the less. This is the less. It's the difference between the two. And we know how much that is because it told us it's 280. So this is 280. So now we have to find that this right here, the weight of the magazine, will be the difference between 454 and 280. So we're subtracting. And that's the tape model, the tape diagram model we had to do to show our thinking. It says right here we have to do that. So we have to have a tape diagram model, and now we have one. And now we can do our subtraction. 454 minus the 280. You might be able to do this mentally, but it's going to be hard, uh, trickier to do mentally than you might think. Because if you do it mentally, you're likely to subtract up. Uh, using, if you're just looking at the digits, you're likely to subtract up if you do it mentally. And here you can just see you have enough ones to subtract zero ones always. But you have five tens, and you're trying to subtract eight tens. Now, you can't subtract eight minus five and get three for an answer here because we're subtracting eight tens, not five tens. So we have to break up 100 to get enough 10s. We only have three hundreds left after we do that. And we'll have 10 more 10s, because 100 is 10 10s. So we already have five 10s here, so that we'll have 15 10s. 15 minus 8, 7 10s left. Three hundreds minus two hundreds, one left. The magazine Weighs 174 grams. The chart to the right shows how long it takes to play three games. Here's the chart to the right. Francesca's basketball game is 22 minutes shorter than Luca's baseball game. How long is Francesca's basketball game? So obviously there's a question there we don't know. Uh, her game is shorter than Lucas's baseball game. So Lucas's baseball game we know. And if Francesca's basketball game is shorter, then Lucas's baseball game must be longer. So here's Lucas's baseball game. It's longer. And Francesca's basketball game is shorter. F for Lucas, F for Francesca. We know Lucas's baseball game is 180 minutes. And we know Francesca's basketball game. We don't know how long this is, but we know the less. We know how much shorter it is. This is how much shorter it is right here from here to here and we know how much shorter it is because they told us it's 22 minutes so we have to find the difference between this 180 and the 22 180 minus 22 and you see that we don't have enough ones we have zero ones but we're trying to take away two we don't have enough ones so we have to break up one of these tens and now we'll get 10 ones for that. 10 minus 2 is 8. 
7 tens minus 2 tens is 5 tens. And then this 100 we still have, we're not subtracting any hundreds. We have 158 minutes for Francesca's basketball game. So Francesca's game is 158 minutes long. How much longer is Francesca's basketball game than Joey's football game? So Francesca's basketball game is longer. Joey's football game is shorter. So here we go. Francesca's game is longer. Joey, J for Joey, is his football game is shorter. We know Francesca's basketball game is 158 minutes. And we know Joey's football game in, from the chart is 139 minutes. And this right here is going to be the difference between the two. That's what we need to find out, how much shorter it is. So that's 158. We're going to subtract 139. And we have eight ones. We can't take away nine ones because we don't, that's not enough. So we have to break up one of these tens here, leaving us four tens left. And that gets us 10 more ones. And 10 ones and the eight we already have gives us 18 ones. Now we have plenty of ones. 18 minus nine is nine. And we have four tens minus three tens is one ten left. And then the hundreds we're going to subtract. We're not going to have any hundreds left. We have one and we're going to take away one. So we have 19 is the difference. Francesca's game is 19 minutes longer.